Hey everybody, it's Lindsay and these are my summer makeup essentials and I got this idea actually by somebody commenting in my last video, uh, Allison Barbie doll, and I thought it was such a good idea because in summer, the things that I need to keep my face looking fresh and my makeup looking its best are very different than the things that I need in winter. So I thought a great idea, so I went through, picked out a couple of things. Some of these might be some things that you already use or some variation of something you already use or something you might wanna add. So here I go. Uh, the first thing is I, I have combination skin. My skin changes all the time. Sometimes I really struggle with dryness. Sometimes it's crazy oily. Uh, the past couple weeks, uh, my skin has been so oily. So before anything else, you wanna prep your face. So I, after I wash it, I always use some kind of face, facial lotion and you definitely, if you struggle with oil, wanna be using something that is oil free and that really absorbs quickly. And so this one is just actually a sample I got from Sephora, but it's a pretty good size. And this is DDF Ultra Light Oil Free Moisturizing Dew. And this is pretty pricey. I don't remember exactly how much it is for the full size, but it is pretty expensive. But anything you know similar to this, this just completely absorbs into the skin. So it does give me that moisturization. I don't feel like my skin is tight and taut, but does not leave any residue behind whatsoever. So really just a great start to the day is something uh, like this. You don't necessarily have to get this one, but that's just what I have. So then also to help combat oil, I love, I've talked about this in so many videos, I've recommended it to so many people, the Urban Decay D-Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. And this is $29, I bought this at Sephora. Um, this really does help control my oil and make my makeup last longer. So what I do is after moisturization, before any primer or any foundation, I just spray a couple of sprays, like three, you know, in forehead, and nose, you know, my T-zone area where I really have the most oil. Let that dry completely and then I go ahead with foundation and everything like that. And then once I'm all done with my makeup, eye makeup and everything, I spray it a couple times again on my face. And I'm not gonna say I don't get any oil at all throughout the day, but it definitely helps uh, make everything just last a little bit longer. So um, I say I use that before primer, but Honestly, for the past several weeks, I haven't even been using a foundation primer. I just don't feel like I want extra things on my skin that's gonna possibly clog my pores or make me look heavier, like I have too much makeup. In fact, in summer, I really like my skin to just look completely fresh, very um, clean and not dewy looking, but not you know completely matte or powdery looking, uh, like sometimes is okay in winter. So. One thing I really like to do is tone down my foundation. So if um, I have to wear some kind of um, foundation or tinted moisturizer or something on my skin because I have uneven, uh, uneven skin tone, uh, dark circles under my eyes and things like that. So one that I really like in my bottle is Filthy. Uh, the Origins Vita Zing. You probably hear a lot of people on YouTube talk about this. It is a clear cream, or not clear, but it's a white cream that when it you know warms up with your skin tone it becomes the color of your skin tone really light coverage not something that's going to you know completely cover every blemish but it's really nice for those days when you just want a little bit of coverage but you don't want it to look like you know you're fully made up or you have that you know just fully made up look to your face so really like that one i always have to set this with some kind of a powder though because it is very dewy um another one i talked about this in my may favorites video uh, I love the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. Um, and to make this last just a tiny bit longer, I like to mix it with the Revlon Colorstay. And somehow it leaked all in the cap. That's why it looks like that. But so I use probably 75% of the Healthy Skin and like a quarter of the Revlon Color Stay and mix those together. And it just helps my makeup last a lot longer throughout the day. And I'm, I don't just use these, I'll mix um, other long wearing foundations, like a, a couple drops of that with, you know, a, a more natural looking foundation. And it just, it keeps you with that natural look of foundation, but helps it last a little bit longer because in summer, man, this heat, it is a hundred some degrees outside. Your makeup will break down so fast, um, without that. So I really love, you know, a little drop of a long wearing foundation to help it last longer without you getting that cakey, fully made up look. Um, another thing I've been doing, if I do wear, uh, a foundation that's more full coverage or more longer lasting. I've been really liking to mix it with something to thin it out. And one that I've really been liking, this is by Estee Lauder and this is 
Spotlight Skin Tone Perfector. And I got this in a little kit with um, a foundation and other things like that. And I really like it. And it's just like a foundation primer, I guess, you know. But it's, I don't think it's meant to make your makeup last longer. Um, but it's just whitish, real thin, and it goes on and it gives it a slightly iridescent glow to your skin. Um, nothing shimmery or anything like that, but it just gives a little bit of that, that glow to your skin. So it looks really nice if you put it on before foundation, but I've been mixing it with foundation just to thin it out because I don't need a ton of coverage in summer. I want to keep it light. Um, and then it just gives you like a little bit of luminosity to your skin. So really like that. Another thing, more things to help combat oil. Throughout the day, as I get oily in my T-zone, love some oil absorbing sheets. These are just CVS brand. They are so disgusting because they just float around my purse. They've been in there for months and months and months. Uh, they last me forever. I don't like use these every day or anything like that, but they definitely are so nice for absorbing oil on the go when you don't want to add more powder or anything like that to get rid of the shine. So any brand of this I think is fine. I just use the CVS brand because it's cheap. Uh, another option that I really like is the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. Comes in a container like this, three bucks from eyeslipspace.com. And it's just a little bit, just a little bit of powder. It is translucent. If you have a darker skin tone, this may not work as good as well for you. Um, I just use a very light layer of it, so it's, it's fine for me. It does make my skin tone a tiny bit lighter because it is, you know, when in summer when I'm tanner. It does make it a little bit lighter, but just a little bit of that. It doesn't add coverage or make you look like you're wearing more makeup or anything like that, but it just absorbs the oil and it's cheap and it comes with a giant mirror. So that's always nice for keeping in your purse. So then um, I guess that's getting out of the oil control things. Um, I love a bronzer. I use bronzer, you know, every day. And I say that and today I did not use a bronzer. <laughs> The, but almost every day I use a bronzer. So one that I love for summertime is the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. That's the packaging. You've probably all seen this a million times. It smells like chocolate. Completely matte. It's really dark. So if you're really fair, this may be too dark for you. Uh, I love it that it's matte. You know, it's not going to make you look more oily or shiny or anything like that. But I just buff it into my hairline along my cheeks and everything like that just really warms my skin up especially since my face is always lighter than the rest of my body because I wash it so much more so any real tan that I have any self tanner that I have is going to come off a lot faster on my face and I exfoliate and use chemical exfoliants and things like that so always need to use a little bit of bronzer to warm up my skin tone so that my face matches the rest of my body um, love a matte bronzer for summer. Also love a shimmery bronzer for summer. Um, I don't do shimmer on my forehead or anything like that. I pretty much keep it on my cheeks and I'll go up just a little bit. But one that I really like is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. And I have mine in Waikiki Strip because Emily Noel recommends this one all the time. And it's just, you know, a couple strips of bronzer. And they're really they're really pigmented. I mean, it'll really, it'll really show up on your skin as a nice metallic bronzy finish. And it's not glittery, which is nice. I don't want, you know, necessarily sparkles on my face, but it just gives you a little bit of a metallic sheen that can look really nice in, especially going out for evenings. I like that one. And Emily Noel says that she uses this for eyeshadows and everything like that. And I've done that before. I don't do it, you know, a lot, but I really do like this one for my cheeks. And if I'm using a shimmery bronzer, I normally won't use a shimmery highlighter, but if I just want a little bit more dimension to my face, I love the Dior um, shimmer powder, and this one is in Amber Diamond. This one, this is very expensive. I don't know if it's 100% worth it. I just, you know, everybody talked about this, so I, I wanted to have it and I got it for Valentine's Day last year. But this one is a really nice bron or a, sorry, a really nice highlighter. Um, it gives a nice sheen to the skin without looking glittery or chalky or anything like that. And I took this on my honeymoon and I ended up using this as eyeshadow just about every single day because I didn't pack much makeup, I didn't wanna wear much makeup, but it was so nice to get these beautiful, you know, light shades into the warmer shades and it was really nice for a simple eye makeup look. So if you're looking to 
compact your makeup when you're going on the go. This is so great because you know, if you've been in the sun a little bit and you have, your cheeks are a little pink, you don't want to put extra blush on them and make them look even more red. Um, something like a highlighter like this will just tone it down a little bit, give you that beautiful sexy glow, and then use it as eyeshadows, and they worked great. So I really loved this one for on the honeymoon, on vacation. This summer I've been wearing this a lot. I'm wearing it today. Love it. All right, so on to uh, lip products. Gotta have lip balm with me at all time. I'm just always a lip balm junkie. And in summer, if you're gonna be out in the sun, it better have SPF or else your lips could burn, which does definitely not feel good. Uh, my problem is a lot of lip balms that have high SPF, you know, 30, 25, end up white on my lips. And I don't know if you have experienced that, but definitely for me, a bunch of them I've tried, if you get at all just a tiny bit too much, which I like slather on lip balm, so it's always gonna be too much for me. Um, but it makes my lips look white, which is not an attractive look. So this is one that I found at Walmart and I love it. This is the Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm. This is SPF 20, yes, and this is in the color Soft Caramel. And mine is completely butchered because it's almost done. I've used it, you know, so many times. But this is a tinted lip balm with SPF 20, which is hard to find, I think, a tinted lip balm that has SPF. And SPF 20 is a, is a good, you know, rating in there. That's pretty high. Um, smells kind of like strawberry bananas. Love this one. Used this every single day on the honeymoon, every day at the pool. Just slather this on my lips. It looks beautiful. It gives you a little bit of color, just a little bit of something because I wasn't really wearing makeup otherwise, you know, to lay on the beach. So just to have a little bit of something on my lips was great. Protected them. My lips didn't get burned at all. So highly recommend this one in particular, but any kind of lip balm with SPF, you got to have that in summer. So as far as a lip gloss, this is the one I'm wearing today. I'm gonna just put a little more on because I love it. This is the CoverGirl Wet Slicks Amazement Lip Gloss and this is in the color Everything's Rosy. And it's actually, I think I wanna say when I got it, the wrapper said like Crest on it or something like that. So it definitely smells minty, tastes minty, feels minty. I'm just gonna keep putting it on. It just feels so good. It's so cold, which on these hot, disgusting days, that is so nice. This is not my favorite lip gloss. Um, it's not all sticky, so if that's something that really bothers you, this is a great one. Um, but on the other hand, because it's you know not at all tacky or sticky, then I feel like it leaves my lips so quickly. And since it's minty, I lick it off sometimes. So I end up reapplying this a lot, but it's not expensive. It's drugstore. So if you go through a couple tubes of these in the summer, it's not going to cost you a fortune. Love this color. Just a really pink, uh, pretty pink. And it feels great. It's really cooling, so that's always nice. And then my last thing... I do not wear um, waterproof mascara very often. I don't feel the, like I don't really need it unless I'm swimming or doing something like that. But if you are gonna, if your eyes water, if you're sweating and you're afraid your mascara is gonna run, or if you're gonna be in a pool at the beach, anything like that, you definitely do want a waterproof mascara because otherwise it's not gonna be pretty. And the one I like, and all my bottles are so yucked up. I love when people show bottles of things and they're perfect. Mine are always gross because I use them. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Waterproof. And I got this one because you hear everybody talk about this on YouTube, how it does not come off. And they're right. And I love the formula. I love the big fat brush. I really can get a lot of volume with it. And you definitely need eye makeup remover to get rid of this. So if you're swimming or whatever, it's not gonna completely run um, as long as you don't wipe your eyes. If you wipe your eyes, anything's gonna smear. But you know, I wore this on the honeymoon and it worked really well. I'm really happy with it. Ryan's doing work in the basement, so if you hear anything, that's what he's doing. Um, so that is it. Those, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. These are my summer beauty essentials, things that I need in my life during these hot summer months, and I'm assuming lots of you have similar products in your beauty routine that you use. So let me know what your must-haves are for summer, what you like, if you have anything of these and you like them or don't like them, just let me know, I'd love to hear from you. And I will talk to you soon, so see everybody.